Greetings and greetings to our viewers at home. Welcome once again to our great controversy series. We are on chapter 40 today. God's people delivered. Throughout the series, we've been looking at the trials that God's children have been going through, prisons, death, martyrdom. But today, we sit here with the promise of God's people being delivered. With me here today in studio is Brother Brighton, Sister Mbofu, Brother Mioli, Brother Mutle, I'm Sister Nube, your host. Shall we bow our heads and pray? Brother Brighton will pray for us. Let us pray. Our dear and kind Heavenly Father, thank you for granting us this opportunity to meet and discuss your word. May you please help that all proceedings bring glory and honor to your name. What you ask on top of it all is that you forgive us our sins. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Today's chapter opens with the scene of God's children again in trouble, though we see deliverance towards the end of the chapter. But it opens with the continuation of God's children being in trouble. Our opening paragraph today says, when the protection of human laws shall be withdrawn from those who honor the law of God, there will be in different lands a simultaneous movement for, the, for their destruction. So basically, the children of God are in trouble again. Now there are no human laws, yeah. no state laws. That can be that that protect them. They have been removed. Yeah. That means they are left on their own with their God, and their enemies are now allowed to go all out and destroy them as yeah. they please. So in other words, because they honor the word of God, there will be a movement in all lands mm. that works towards their destruction yeah. because they honor the law of God. Yeah. And we're already seeing that happening slowly. The protection from, from the justice system, it's, it's, it's slowly withdrawing from protecting God's people. Yes. Mm. And also, still on the very same topic, let's open our Bibles on John chapter 7, verse 7. The world, this was Jesus speaking to, to his disciples and also us, as we are also his disciples. Mm -hmm. This applies to us as well. Yes, sir. He says, the, word, the world cannot hate you but it hates me because I testify of its evil. Mm -hmm. The main issue here is the law of God. The law of God exposes mm -hmm. the evil of the world. Mm -hmm. So now that is why the, 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 the children of God were being hunted, all this material domain, all this and that, because of the what? The character and the law of God. Nothing else, the righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, for, for the love of Christ is enmity to the world. Yes, uh, but just like the topic of, 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 the, of the chapter says, God's people delivered, you know, it's actually something beautiful to consider mm -hmm. that when we started the controversy, we, the, the book, The Great Controversy, we're talking about reformers being persecuted. We're talking about all, all, all the history concerning um, the word of God. But as we are drawing to, to, to the close, we find topics like God's people delivered. Mm -hmm. As, as we delve into the topic, we'll then realize that not all hope is lost. For as we are reading, uh, the, the book will tell you that as they were in, in, in prison, as they were beaten, yes, as sir. they were held as enemies because they kept the law of God, mm -hmm. it was at their darkest hour mm -hmm. that deliverance came, mm -hmm. which maybe must be a word of encouragement to someone out there today. Yeah. At the darkest hour, God will not fail us. Mm -hmm. He might leave, we might suffer for a while, but joy comes in the morning. Yes, sir. For the book itself is testimony to that. Yes, sir. Although we go through some trials and tribulations trying to uphold the law of God, yes, sir. when uh, dark times come, we should not forsake the law of God, mm -hmm. but we hold even long. He, I, I was uh, listening to another pastor yesterday. He says, you see, the, 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 the midnight deliverance huh? finds us worshipping. Yes, we do not worship because it's now midnight. Mm -hmm. The deliverance comes at midnight, but the worship precedes the deliverance. Amen. Before the deliverance <laughs> arrives, the ah. worship comes. Pastor, yeah. And so we, we worship <laughs> even when things get dark. Yes, but we know that deliverance will come at midnight. Mm. Worship will not start at midnight. Worship starts before. Yes, but sir. wait for deliverance for even in the darkest hour, yes. then deliverance will come. And perhaps mm. let me hasten to the supernatural or rather the metaphysical roots of the controversy. Mm. And that's where we see Lucifer as a covering cherub. Mm. Yeah. And covering cherub, when we look at Israel's uh, Hebrew cultures. That's that's the century. Mm. They used to be on top of the mercy seat. Yes. And they would look towards the in, the inside of the receptacle of the law, mm. meaning that the covering cherub would protect 
the foundation of God's government, yeah. which is the law. Mm. And those who are citizens of heaven, but mm-hmm. still on earth, mm-hmm. they keep the commandments of the government that rules their lives. Yeah. But the, the controversy will be between the government of this world, the mm. powers of this world, world, and the government of God. And we yeah. know that the antagonist force is using the state. The antagonist force is using the power of this world to oppose the law of God. It's central to the conflict. Mm. Mm. The final cosmic conflict mm. is attack on the law of God. Mm. Mm. And that is what we see. And those who keep the law yeah. will come under attack. The law of the state will crush them because they keep the law of God. But mm. the good news is the title of the cover itself, mm. which is the title of the chapter. God's people will be delivered. Mm. Before they even try to sigh against the children of God, mm. the one who rules them as the master of the government, that presides over their, their lives, will come through for the children of God. You, mm. you, you, you know where the beauty of it lies? Yes, sir. The ones who were persecuted by the law, because of the law, they are then saved through the law. Yes, sir. For it is written, uh, page 300 and, uh, 636, sorry, the great controversy, it reads, and again a voice, musical and triumphant is heard, saying, yeah. they come, they come, mm. holy, harmless, and undefined. <laughs> they yeah. have kept the word of my patience. Mm. They were persecuted for this word. Yes, sir. But he who is the king of kings, when he yes, arrives, yes, he sir. says, behold, behold, they come, yeah. holy, righteous, and undefined. Yes, the law they were persecuted for is the law that qualifies them to inherit the, the, the kingdom of God. Mm. Yes. Still on the very same uh, chapter, there's something that uh, it's, it's, it, 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 you can o- easily overlook it, but mm. it's the key of the whole thing. Yeah. I, I'm going to be reading there. It says, um, where it starts with, with the shouts of, triumph- of triumph, mm-hmm. cheering and impersation, throngs of evil men are about to rush upon their prey. Mm-hmm. When lo, a dense mm. blackness, deeper than the darkness of the night, falls mm. upon the earth. Mm. Then the rainbow, shining with the glory from the throne of God, yeah. spans the heavens mm. and seems, now this is the part I want us to pay attention to, mm-hmm. and seems to encircle each praying company. Oh. Ah. <laughs> See, prayer is, yeah. ah, is our key foundation as well. Yes. Because reading and keeping the word of God mm-hmm. and the law of God, mm-hmm. it must be resuscitated with prayer. prayer. Mm-hmm. So now, as, as, as the viewers are watching at home, mm-hmm. because even right now, mm-hmm. most of the viewers are, are undergoing tough times, yes. but they must never, ever neglect to pray. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mr. Miyodise, are you saying that if we pray in conflict, if we pray in tribulation, mm. we have God's special protection. Oh. Mm. Now, now, I want us to look at this. The deliverance of the children of God does not happen like a simple event. Yes, ma'am. There are signs and wonders yeah. that happen to show that the king is about to stand from his throne Amen. to come and deliver his children. Yes, <clears throat> Now, I will read a small paragraph that the writer wrote. It says... Uh, There is a mighty earthquake, Mm. such as was not seen since men were upon the earth. Mm. So mighty an earthquake and so great, the firmament appears to open and shut. Mm. The glory from the throne of God seems flashing through. Mm. Mm. The mountains shake like a reed in the wind, Mm. and rugged rocks are scattered on every side. Mm. There is a roar as a coming of a tempest. Before the Savior returns, Mm. there are signs that show the honor of the creation is about to, to arrive. There's a part where she writes, it's as if the foundations of this very earth are being shaken. Yeah. The one who founded them is allowing them to shake because he's about to return. You know, another thing that is interesting on what she has just said, I love this part when Sister White says, the tokens of deliverance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if we're not familiar with the word of God, definitely we'll miss the tokens. Mm-hmm. But to you, to me, those that keep the law of God, those tokens are speaking a mouthful to us. It's a way, those are the signs of encouragement, mm-hmm. for we know we're not left on our own. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In fact, the Bible through the prophet Daniel says mm-hmm. in, in chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, and at that time um, shall Michael stand up, the great mm. prince which standeth for the children of yes, thy people. Yes, and there shall be a time, 
there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Mm. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Mm. So in other words, this is the book of life. Mm. We know that there are many books in heaven, yes, sir. but the main one that we look at is the book of life, yeah. mm -hmm. where all the names of the people who are going to be saved are found. They were told that these are the people who are actually delivered. Amen. And verse 2, it says, Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, mm. some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Mm. This time is it, it's, it's going to be so much trouble. The Bible says it has never like it has never been seen before. When you study this chapter that we're looking at, you find that some of the Christians will be found in prison. Mm. Mm. So some Christians are as yet to go into prison for the sake of the gospel, just for keeping the law of God. Mm. Mm. And it goes on to say some are found in the mountains hiding in forests. Mm. Mm. So, so, so that time is coming when we'll have to go and hide in, with our families, with our children in mountains and forests because it will be a time of trouble that like it has never been before. Mm. But anyway, there's hope because God's people shall be delivered. Yeah, mm. That's true. Mm. Revelations 1 verse 7 then says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, uh -huh. and every eye will see him. Mm -hmm. This is where the, 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 the problem seems to be. Mm -hmm. You see, there are people who believe Yes, uh, that he will come, yeah. uh, but he will come in, in, in hiding, if I may if I may say, for a lack of, of, of a better word. Some believe in rapture. Yeah. They say while we are sitting, one will disappear. Some will come and tell you that he has come, but he is in the east. <laughs> some will say he has come, but he is in the west. Oh. But it is described to us how he will come. Yes, it yes. says he will come yes, and sir. every eye shall see him. Amen. Even those that mocked uh. and, uh, and pierced him. Mm -hmm. You see, when he arrives, it's actually beautiful how when he arrives, mm -hmm. his voice even pierces the ears of the dead. Mm -hmm. For when he comes, it will be a glorious moment, which, which is where we find comfort, by the way. Yeah. For even those who have lost loved ones, it is not the end of the road yet. Mm -hmm. For it is written that when he, when he comes, he who is Lord even over death, mm -hmm. he will raise even those that, um, that, that, that died. Yes, sir. And when he comes every eye will see him. Amen. He will not come in hiding. He will not come to a certain sector of people. Yes, he will sir. not come to a certain uh, 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 social class of people. Mm. Not the rich will see him first, nor is it those who are appointed high by the church that will see him first. Yeah. But when he comes, every eye will see him. Mm. Now, Revelation chapter 6, verse 12 says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there were great earthquake, and the sun became as black as sackcloth of hair, mm. and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely leaf fig, figs, mm. when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the head. And it says, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And this is just a phenomenon of what will happen on earth when yeah. the master will appear. It will be a terrible scene. Mm -hmm. The author literally says that there will be darkness, mm -hmm. denser than at night, yeah. mm -hmm. when there is no light. And not only that, but they will see flashing movements in the sky. Mm -hmm. They will see through the starry heavens and they will see the throne room of God mm -hmm. with the Ten Commandments shining oh. because those who have kept the commandments are about to be delivered and vindicated by the God of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically what we are saying, we are sitting here today describing what the human mind cannot really comprehend mm -hmm. of the last events mm -hmm. that are, are about to happen mm -hmm. yeah. before our master returns. I like the part that you touched when he says, even the Ten Commandments, it, it's almost like a video hey. that plays in the sky. Mm. <laughs> so that those who had hey. deliberately chosen to oppress the immutable law of God, yes. see it as it is. Yes. As he delivered it in Sinai, the ah. very same hands hey. that wrote the law shall open the law hey. for the inhabitants of the earth to see yeah. and judge themselves because before he returns. Thank you so much, viewers. We shall take a short break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, viewers. We closed this on the note saying the law of God is seen 
and the unrighteous man we have trodden down the law of God finally sees it stands there unmutable no word has changed not only that we are here to give you hope today that is children of God are going to be delivered let's not let's not look at the earthly case yeah. that are troubling us right now mm -hmm. including the suicide corona that yeah. is ravaging our communities we fear nothing because yeah. deliverance here is sure amen. amen now let's go back to the topic that we're discussing yes the writer says when the savior is about to return mm. The people of God have seen the signs mm. and they see a, a, a cloud mm. as small mm. as the hand of a man mm. appearing in the east, mm. surrounded by throngs. Mm. Then they realize mm. they are master returned. Yes, yeah. and remember that we have seen graves opening. Mm. We're told that graves are going to pop open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we're told that Jesus <clears throat> is going to stand there and say, Awake. And those that hear him, they will they, their graves open and they will come out. Mm. Viewers, I'd like to say this at this point: that those who have learned to listen to the voice of Christ when they were still alive, yes, mm. yes. they are the only ones who can recognize it from the grave. Yes. Mm. It's not going to be possible for you to start recognizing a voice that you hey. never listened to mm. yeah. when yeah, you are true. alive. Yeah. Now that you're dead, then you suddenly hear it. So we'd rather start learning to listen to God, Jesus' voice now yeah. when mm -hmm. we're still alive so that we will be able to recognize it from the grave when mm. he says awake. Amen. Mm. Yeah, also in, in John chapter 10, mm -hmm. Jesus there says he is the shepherd. Mm -hmm. And as he's coming to the fold, the sheep that are in the fold, they hear his voice. And then they do what? They follow him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the question is this. You know, as children of God, mm. we should only be hearing the voice of our master. Yes. Mm. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Not look at what the, 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 the so-called churches are saying, but everything that they say, it must be validated by the, the word of God. God. Nothing else? Absolutely that. And then it says here, uh, all who have died in faith of the third angel's message mm -hmm. came forth from the tomb glorified mm. you know mm. when the word of god says mm. for god so loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son so that whomsoever believes in him should not die but have eternal, eternal life, life. Mm. you see with us since we trust in our master yeah. we fear no death at all mm -hmm. because our master has already overcome the world and death as well that is why now it, 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 the, 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 the children of God, it was easy for them yeah. to uphold the law of God, irrespective of the circumstances. So the viewers at home would like also to encourage them that, hold on, the word of God says, these are the last days, cleave, mm. Mm. cleave, mm. don't hold, mm. don't cleave. let go, yeah. mm. never let go, this mm. is the word of God, amen. Mm. Amen, amen. And when we look at Matthew mm. chapter 24, Mm. Verse 29, it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days mm -hmm. shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light mm -hmm. and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the earth shall be shaken. Mm -hmm. Verse 30 says, And then shall appear a sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn mm -hmm. and they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven with great power mm -hmm. and great glory. Mm -hmm. Now what we are seeing here is the terror of the wicked. Mm. Hey. Okay, Carol, you've just said it right. We are looking at the terror of the wicked. Yes, now, I want us to look into that. The writer says, those who derided his claims to be the son of God are speechless now. Mm. And she draws our attention to all of them throughout the edges. Mm. She says, Herod, yes. jeered at his royal no. title, mocking with the soldiers, mm. putting a crown of thorns on his head. Mm. Those who put the nails in his hand yeah. will have a moment to look at him and bow and say he's the king of kings. Yes. Those who smote him, yeah. those who made fun of him, 
Even the very Jews who cried, crucify him. Everyone shall be given a moment to look at the Son of God. I want us to look at the people. We have looked down at the word of God throughout the ages. Let's speak yeah. to that, please. Yeah. What happens on this great day? Instead, the, the, the writer says <clears throat> it is impossible to describe the horror and despair mm. of those who have trampled mm. upon God's holy requirements. Mm. Mm. Says, the language can't even describe mm. the, the, the horror and the despair. The Lord gave them and his law, they might have compared their characters with it and learned their defects while there was yet an opportunity for repentance and reform. But in order to secure the favor of the world, just mm. listen to this, mm. in order to, to secure the favor of the world, that's the only reason that they set aside its precepts and taught others to transgress. Mm. How many times viewers do we seek the favor of the world yeah. at the expense of God's law? Yes, mm. How many times do we do we choose a, a, a temporary material things over the law of God? Amen. Mm. Amen. As you go down in that very same paragraph, it then says, now they are condemned by that law which they have despised. Mm. I, I, I love how it keeps bringing us back to the subject of the law. For when that day is described, the writer says, then there appears against the sky a hand holding two tablets of stone yes. folded together. Yes. Maybe this is something to realize. While we are on earth, we live under the law. Mm. Those who do not take heed of the law, it is said that a day of doom is impending. Mm. And when that day comes, God will take those who who, who are faithful to the law and as it takes them to heaven a hand is seen and it appears against the sky the hand is still mind you still holding two tablets the law is not uh, that does not get done away with my brother Karam, yes, explain. some say the law was done away with when jesus christ died on the cross yes, but the writer says even at the second coming a hand is seen still holding those two tablets yes, allow me to say yes, we do not live in a lawless world and yes. we are not going into a lawless world yes. for this world will be judged through the law and that very same law we are going to keep even when we're going to heaven yes, for as we read Earlier in, in, in the preceding chapters, it is explained that the law is the transcript of the character of God. So the law does not change. The law, the, the, the law is unchangeable. Hence, even when we go into heaven, this very same law still ushers us into heaven. And this very same law we will live by in heaven. In fact, Mrs. Ellen G. White, she wrote, she says, the law of God is as immutable as the throne of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Says the, the precepts of the Decalogue are as immutable as the throne of God. Mm. Now, now, when Jesus reaches mid air, oh. <laughs> being our king that he is, that's when he shines. Arise, arise, ye that sleep, and yeah. they hear him. Yeah. Graves are open. Yeah. Look at the ministry of angels. Yeah. The angels, he then says to the angels, that are you, my children. Yeah. You know when the writer sees, she almost draws a picture, a story picture for you to see. Yeah. Angels are running back and forth, children yeah. to mothers, yes. husbands to wives, Power. you know, brothers yeah. to sisters those who lost their dead in Christ yes. all of them, the angels are busy placing every member of the what family in mean? order good people, it is imperative yeah. that families make it to heaven, yeah. you don't want to wake up and some members of your family are not there yeah. you don't want to wake up and start asking where your spouse is, yeah. where your children are here is a call to us today, everybody go and gather your family Make sure all your family members make it to the kingdom. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And all those will be subject to the kingdom of eternal life mm. are those who accepted Jesus Christ as mm. Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people who chose to suffer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm than to betray Christ. I'm mm. talking about people who went through trials, mm -hmm. bitter disappointment, mm -hmm. suffered, <sighs> I don't know yeah. how to put it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> beyond measure. But one mm. thing that I got when I was reading this chapter is that before a crown of glory, Ellen White mm. once says that, mm. comes a crown of thorns. Mm. And our tribulations, our challenges, our harsh afflictions are our crown. Mm. of thorns but for us to put on the crown of thorns we must put on Jesus because no one can withstand the trials without an indwelling savior mm. Mm. now that you mentioned the crown of thorns you know when the writer writes she says uh, the one who once wore the crown of thorns now comes with the crown of glory yes, I sir. want you to realize That's something the order. He, 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 it's, it's the second advent he came before 
<laughs> and that's why, as, as we, have, we have explained earlier, there are those who recognize him as he comes. Yeah. And they see that this is the very man that I pierced. Mm. This is the very man that I condemned. Yeah. And so because they can recognize him, it's because he was here before that they are able to recognize yes, him. Sir. And unlike when he came before, he doesn't come as a man of sorrows. But this time he comes as the king of kings yeah. and the lords of lords. Yes, he sir. comes to judge those who will go into heaven and those who will remain on earth. I think it's something beautiful to actually uh, look into that he comes not as a man of sorrows anymore mm -hmm. and the world is able to recognize him. Yeah. Mind you, at, uh, at the first advent, they did not recognize him because they did not know him. Yeah. Not only did they not know him, but they rejected him. Mm -hmm. But yes. when he comes again, then they realize that this is the very same man that we rejected. And so it is the day of doom to those who pierced him yeah. because they can rea they can see him. They can even see the holes in his hands. Yeah. And so it is the day of doom to the man who said crucify him. Yeah. And so it is the day of doom to the one who said his blood should be on us and yeah. should be on our children. Mm. Because they can see and they can recognize that very same man in his we crucified. Yeah. He is now coming, not as a man of sorrows yeah. anymore, yeah. but he comes in glory. Mm. Mm. And in fact, well, what is interesting, my brother, is that uh, every knee shall bow. Mm. Yeah. Every tongue yeah. yeah. confess. So, mm. so the interesting part is that whether you confess it now, mm. that is king of kings, mm. or then when he comes, when you are I would rather mm. viewers, you do it now. Mm. You declare now that he's king. You bow now. Because you don't want to bow when it's too late, mm. Mm. when he is come. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the, the, go ahead, brother. The, 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 there's something that I, I, I picked up. It's just a, a, a question to all of us. Can you imagine the scribes and the Sadducees when they see him, mm. who he really is? is. Mm. Mm. Those who rejected yeah. him. You know, that day Four. is going to be the most painful yes. day. Mm. The things that are happening now, they are nothing compared to that day. Mm -hmm. for, for, for the word says here, on that particular day, those that rejected him, mm. that day, they will be the ones who will be calling on the mountains to, to fall, fall on, on them. them. People mm. on that day, they will be wanting death. As people are fearful of death today, on that day, huh? mm. we want him to run away from his glory. Mm. Now, here is an interesting point. The writer says, mm -hmm. all come forth from their graves, mm -hmm. the same in stature as they entered the tomb. Hey. Hey. Now, people are resurrected. Mm -hmm. They come out in the same man. Adam! Being the first, it's as if they are standing in a line. There is comparison here. Adam is looked at, he's the tallest. He looks better than the rest of the creation. I'm sure Adam has a moment to look back and check how short the shortest is compared to him. When he sees that, the writer says, in a twinkling of an eye, then everybody is changed to wear immortality. Yes, sir. When that happens, <laughs> Now we prepare to ascend. Yeah. We are going home. People, let's discuss the journey of going home. Maybe before we get there, I want us to realize something. Yeah. As they come out of the grave mm -hmm. and there is a contrast, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Adam being the tallest, it actually describes that he is just a little lower than the son of man. <laughs> yes. But yet he stands up Yo. and he stands in contrast with everyone else. <laughs> yes. And then it says, then will people realize mm. the actual evilness of sin. Mm. That he who has made first compared to him who was born generations later mm. is now shorter, mm. is now weaker mm. because of the effects of sin. Mm. In fact, the, the writer says that Adam himself will look at us mm. and mm. see the results of what he did that day mm. in the garden of, and we're told that he's going to cry mm. because as it says, we're told that Adam is actually six feet tall Mm. So imagine a six feet tall man mm. and our height now. Yeah. We're talking mm. that he will look and cry as he sees the effects of what he did. Author mm. says he presents a marked contrast to the people of later generations. Mm -hmm. In this one respect is shown the great degeneracy mm. of the human race. Yes. Mm. So basically Adam has that time to mm. look back and see how privileged he was. Mm. Just like he cried in Eden when he saw the first leaf fall. Mm. So shall he cry yeah. when he looks at what sin has done 
throughout the generations. Good people, I don't want to talk about this and not be part of the throne. Hey. That will be the counted. So here, basically, this lesson is calling us today to take decisions, to confess now, like you said, yes. that he is king, so yes. that we are not compelled on that day yes. when it is beyond control. Yes. Then we are so right. Like John in the island of Pat Patmos to yeah. say, he who testifies about these things says, surely I am coming soon. Even so, amen. Come Lord Jesus. Please join us after the break. Amen. Welcome again, viewers. Before we went for break, we are talking about the children of God who are about to take off. We are going to be uh, ascending to our home in heaven. If it was today's language, you'd say parental guidance is advised because we are about to talk about wings that cry holy and wings that cry holy. That's what happens. We get into the chariots of fire. Who has ever seen that? And the writer says, the wheels of that chariot will mm. cry holy. So mm. will the wheels. Who has seen chariots that has wings? Mm. It's almost language that we can't begin to comprehend. Yeah. Mm. But here we are, the children of God are ascending to mm. the holy city. Yeah. And when the writer explains it, she says that page 646, the first paragraph, Jesus opens wide the pearly gates, and the nation that have kept the truth enter in. Mm -hmm. there, they, there they behold the paradise of God, mm -hmm. the home of Adam in his innocence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then that voice, richer than any music that ever fell on mortal ear, oh is God. heard saying, your conflict is ended. Mm -hmm. Be blessed of my father. Amen. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you mm -hmm. from the foundation God's of the world. God's people delivered. God's yeah. people delivered. <laughs> you need to Finally. understand that the plan of salvation mm -hmm. works towards only one end, mm -hmm. restoring you. Humanity. Yeah. And we are told of the day that humanity will be fully restored. Mm -hmm. We need to say that Adam himself, after being exiled from Eden for, for, for mm -hmm. so long, he will be returned to Eden and mm -hmm. he will once again have the pleasure of living and beholding mm -hmm. what Eden was once was. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want you to realize that for me and you, Brother Karabu, yes, who have never uh, be, beheld Eden before, yes, that sir. day will be uh, taken up to Eden and we will realize mm -hmm. and we will recognize recognize how the earth was before sin, mm -hmm. how the earth was supposed to be, mm -hmm. how God intended us to live. Mm -hmm. And Amen. so God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit ah. have always been working towards one aim, Amen. that is restoring humanity Amen. to what he was supposed to be. And hence we are told of this day where all of us mm -hmm. will behold and will be at peace mm -hmm. when we realize and we recognize the majesty of God Amen. and what he wanted us to be and the peace he wanted us. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Amen. Jesus. Allow me, allow me to say. Allow me to you say. You are allowed. That, <laughs> <laughs> allow me to say that from Genesis to Revelation, we are mm -hmm. seeing an unfolding of the plan of salvation, mm -hmm. yeah. where God is restoring paradise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right at the center of the Bible is Calvary, mm -hmm. the only gateway from Eden mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Eden. Amen. Yes. Amen. I mean, my favorite part is is when Christ Himself now presents the redeemed before the Father. <laughs> mm -hmm. He loves that. It, it says that. <laughs> And now it's fulfilled the Savior's prayer for his disciples. Mm. I will that they also, whom mm. thou hast given me, be with me where I am. Yes. Faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Mm. Christ presents to the Father the purchase of his blood. Mm. Amen. He says, Here mm. am I and the children mm. whom thou hast given me. Mm. One day he's going to present us before the Father. Mm. Mm. He, he will present the purchase of his blood. Yeah. Because he tells that heavenly family what he's mm. going to do on earth. Mm. He will say, you remember when I left heaven, this is what I had gone to do. Mm. Mm. These yeah. are the fruits. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Not only that, Brother Mary, did you want to come? Yeah, I also wanted to say there's a part that I find very interesting to, to add on what she has said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, before entering the city yeah. of God, mm -hmm. the Savior, Christ himself, is going to bestow upon his followers the emblems of victory. Mm. Underline the emblems of victory mm. and invest in them with the insignia of mm. their royal state. Mm. Things might be tough for now. Mm -hmm. Things might be looking hayward. Yeah. But surely as, 
surely as we are here today, there's no other day that we're waiting for except this particular day. Mm -hmm. Because this day is actually our birth once again. Because mm -hmm. that day, everything is going to be put in proper rations and balances. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is the emblems that mm -hmm. we're talking about, that Christ will, will, mm -hmm. will bestow on the children, I'd like mm -hmm. to believe it's the crowns and mm -hmm. the robes, because those are the signals of victory hey. that we're going to receive when we mm -hmm. Palms of victory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crowns, crowns. Not, not just ordinary crowns. Mm. Straight from the master's head mm. with our names on them. Yeah. <laughs> mm. He himself will put them. Mm. You know? And then now I want us to look at Adam. People mm. have crowns now. Palms mm. of victory. He has looked into it. <clears throat> now the writer says when Adam enters into Eden, once again, with Christ, remember, we mm. must eat from the tree of life. Yes. Amen. But the tree of life is mm. in Eden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Adam is taken again to his home. Mm. That was taken away. He mm. looks at it. The mm. writer says when it's restored to him, mm. it's more beautiful mm. than it was at the beginning. Mm. When he gets there, the Savior will black mm. the tree of life. <laughs> where the angel with the sword once stood, mm. so that Adam does not partake of the fruit in case it becomes a, a, a sinner continuously. Yeah. Now the Savior himself plucks off the fruit, mm. gives it to Adam, he should eat first. <laughs> <laughs> Adam eats first. <laughs> and then it's, before Adam eats, the writer says he takes off his crown. Amen. And he bows. Mm. And he says, what is the lamp? Hey, and immediately a song of triumph hey. shall burst hey. amongst hey. the children of God and I, when I, they sing, what is the hey, lamp? I, I love that hey. part. It says he, he doesn't go <laughs> to, to, to Christ's bosom. He goes to the feet of Jesus, mm. Mm. the starting point, mm. the starting point. Now, mm. that is the character that we also need to be having. Yes. Mm. Pride, arrogance mm. is not the character of Christ. Mm. And only the word of God humbles us. Mm. Mm. Because there it says, you know, if, 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 if we would understand what Christ went through mm. in order for us to be saved, it says here, the souls that have been saved by his agony and humiliation and the redeemed will be the sharers of his joy yeah. as they behold amongst the blessed those who have been won to Christ through their prayers, their labors, and their loving sacrifices. Yeah. Mm. Ah. For you to appreciate mm. how Adam reacts mm. when he is restored in Eden, hey. you need to understand one thing. Mm. There is one thing that Adam and Eve mm. have or, or, or experienced that we did not experience. Yeah. Mm. For them, Eden was first a home mm -hmm. and then taken away from them. Mm -hmm. And so when the writer explains, she says, after his expulsion from Eden, mm -hmm. Adam's life on earth was filled with sorrow. sorrow. Mm -hmm. Every dying leaf, mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. team of sacrifice, mm -hmm. every light upon the, fa the fair face of the nature, mm -hmm. every stain upon man's <coughs> body was a fresh reminder of, mm -hmm. of, of his sin. Mm -hmm. You see, so, uh, someone once said, you, you, for you to appreciate something, mm -hmm. you have to lose it first. Yes. For, to Adam and Eve, this is the situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unlike all of us, mm -hmm. they had been to Eden before. Yeah. They had mm -hmm. seen what God had in mind for, mm -hmm. human, for, for human beings. Mm -hmm. And when they were expelled from Eden, and when they saw how evil and how not generous mm -hmm. sin is, and mm. then they longed to go back from whence they were expelled. Mm. And so when they were they are restored mm -hmm. and they come back to eat it, then they, they see how worthy God is. Hence mm. Abraham falls on the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. And cries, Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Mm. Because to him he understands what mm -hmm. it was before sin, what sin has done to the earth, mm. and how the, the sacrifice of Christ has restored us to what God originally had in mm. mind for us. Yeah. yeah. I think another interesting one, the author literally says, the Son of God redeemed man's mm. failure and fall. Mm. 
Mm. And now through the work of the atonement, mm. Adam is reinstated in his first dominion. Yeah. Oh. He will be reinstated. It is his first dominion. Mm. Amen. Another yeah. interesting point is that the, 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 there is another group that, that, that interests me that is witnessing this. Mm. This reunion is, 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 is witnessed by angels. Yeah. Mm. The angels who wept when Adam fell. Mm. The angels who rejoiced Joyce. when Christ resurrected him. That mm. 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 We're told that they, they witnessed this and they remember they they witness the accomplishment of the redemption plan mm. and they join in the song of praise mm. Mm. now the writer draws us into another very interesting mm. scenario mm. this is the 144000 standing as a square mm. in the sea of glass mm. i normally call the mm. sea of glass mm. our first lay-by oh. official <laughs> lay-by <laughs> when we get there the yeah. sea of glass yes. is our first yes. official mm. lay-by yeah. there the 144000 yeah. is gathered around mm. The, mm. The, the the sea of glass now this is the group that never tasted death this is the group that comes from all the tribes mm. of the children of Jacob. Honored was Jacob. Man, mm. I'm Amen. so jealous of him right now. Because mm. the penny gates are named out of his children. Mm. And the 144,000, I think it's each 12, yeah. comes from, from each from gate. From the division mm. of the 12 tribes. To make that perfect square. You mm. know my prayer is, I'm not mm. saying, Lord, I want to be in the 144,000. I just want to be in heaven. Mm. Even if I have to watch them and yeah. see the beauty. But here is a group of people. Hey. That is, is the writer talks about. The 144,000. Mm. Paradise. A paradise, one may explain it. You see, when, when, when the writer explains it, she says it's a city for square, for mm. its width is equal to its length. Mm. And at, at each face of, 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 of the city, there are three gates, mm. each, as we have explained, uh, from the tribe of Israel. Mm. And so when John uh, sees the city and then he explains it, mm -hmm. there is something beautiful that he says. Yeah. That, that, that Revelation uh, chapter 21, the verse is 4. Revelation chapter 21, the verse is 4. <clears throat> it says, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, mm -hmm. and death shall be no more, mm -hmm. neither shall there be mourning, mm -hmm. nor crying, mm -hmm. nor pain anymore. Mm -hmm. For the former things have passed okay. away. Uh -huh. We need to appreciate mm -hmm. the fact that when Christ comes, mm -hmm. He does away with everything that has yeah. caused us pain. Mm -hmm. We need to appreciate that when Christ comes, he mm. does away with everything that has caused that sorrow. Mm -hmm. When another pastor explains it, Dr. Papu, he says, mm -hmm. the reason why it says he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, mm -hmm. it's because he will address every tear in the ritual. Amen. The tear of death, he will address mm. it. Mm. The tear mm. of sickness, he mm. will address it. Mm. The tear of persecution, he will address mm. it. Yeah. And when he has addressed every tear, then we will be at peace. Then we will appreciate and glorify who God is. And mm. then we will appreciate and glorify what he has done for us. Mm -hmm. And then we will appreciate Amen. the peace that comes with the new Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Our Amen. closing remarks. Amen. Amen. Well, the close, my closing remarks from the author, she says, it will be seen that he who is infinite in wisdom mm -hmm. could devise no plan for our salvation except the sacrifice of his son. Mm. The compensation for this sacrifice is the joy of peopling the earth with ransomed beings, holy, happy, and immortal. The result of the Savior's conflict with the powers of darkness is the joy of the redeemed rebounding to the glory of God throughout the <coughs> And such is the value of the soul that the Father is satisfied with the price paid. Mm. And Christ himself, beholding the fruits of his great sacrifice, is satisfied. Mm. Mm. Yeah, also on my side, uh, the closing remark will, is this section that says, <clears throat> The cross of Christ will be the science mm. and the song of the redeemed throughout all eternity. Mm. In Christ glorified, they will behold Christ crucified. Amen. Mm. And my favorite verse, I'm going to close with that, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee the crown of life. Mm. Mm. Amen. Second Peter 3, the verses 9. 
the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, mm. as some count slowness, mm. uh, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, mm. but that all should come to repentance. Mm. You need to realize something about the character of God. Mm-hmm. And this is what you have realized throughout the journey of the Bible, throughout mm. the journey of the great controversy, mm. throughout our lives. Yeah. God mm. is a God of love. Amen. Mm. It, it, it is said that the plan of salvation was there before the fall of man. Yeah. Mm. Even when the children of Israel kept going astray, God kept seeking after them. Mm. Even when we were doomed, Jesus Christ himself mm. came and died for us. Amen. Even after Jesus Christ left, he then leaves us with the Holy Spirit mm. so that it can guide us to all truth. Yeah. If anything, we should appreciate and realize that we serve a God of love. Mm. Mm. Because we serve a Christ who is coming in glory but who was once a man of sorrow. Mm. Sorrow we shall experience. Yeah. Affliction we shall experience. But we have the hope that bends within our mm. hearts. Mm. The hope of our coming Lord. Mm. He is coming soon. Mm. He will not tarry. I like the part when he says he shall take us and present us before the Father mm. as the fruits of his salvation. We are therefore justified to hey, say Christian. unto mm. him who is able to keep us hey. To, hey. from falling hey. and to present Present us before the Father. We give him honor, glory, power, and Amen. dominion Amen. forever and ever. Amen. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Amen. Oh, let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Father God, for your love, for your care. Stubborn as we are, Father God, but you are always after us, Father God, because you love us, Father God. You, as you say in the book of Ezekiel, that we don't wish for anyone to perish. You want every, every one of us to be saved. Heavenly Father, as you said also in the book of Genesis, chapter 4, where between the issue of Cain and Abel, you said to them, <clears throat> as you are saying to us today, that sin is crouching at our door. Mm. It wants to rule us, but we must control it. Only through you can it be controlled. Heavenly Father, would help us so that as priests of the home, Sibuyele into position with you so that we become priests of our homes once again. That can only be done through you and you alone, Father. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you for being our hope. Amen. Amen.